Hey, it's Los Santos Sheriff and welcome to Assetto Corsa! Today we are driving this legendary Knight Rider vehicle, Pontiac Trans Am GTA. It's a huge device, it weighs 1520 kilos, but it has power 185 horsepower. Woohoo! So much power! And torque is. 224 newton meters so we are now talking about real speed and real power and the top speed is something around 230 kilometers per hour except the actual night rider vehicle which goes unlimited speed let's check the interior it looks nothing like the night rider vehicle from 1983 or 85 or something maybe 83 but it still is very American, very pretty car, very sporty. Let's see, let's take uh, the standard inside look out. As you can see, there are those interior lights and panels and uh, lights on off switch. There's even the, the hood switch. Wow. Then we have... Uh, Cruise control, lever, lights, speedometer, then we have rounds per minute meter. Oh, the shadow of the hand is coming out of the way. Uh, some other meters, but where's the kit? There's no kit at here. Then we have radio, lots of buttons, but no computer. All right, I think we have to test it. Wow, there's some roof stuff. Roof stuff is still here. Time, date, distance. Wow, this is awesome. Straight from the 80s. All right, I think we are good to go for the desert drive. We are now back here in Black Cat County because this is the Night Rider scene. Alright, good start. One is coming. Alright, let's test, test this drive. Oh, there's automatic gearbox and then I have manual gears. Quite odd. <laughs> I don't know. Okay, this is a pretty smooth ride. Yeah, I think this runs pretty smooth actually. I think this is quite nice. How much do we have speed? 120 kilometers per hour. I think there's both miles and kilometers on the same meter. Yeah, the lights are, but the lights are not popping out from the hood like some other mods. So that is the feature that is missing from this model. But this is quite smooth, very, very down-to-earth vehicle comparing to other muscle editions, I think. This is much more smoother to drive, it's not so badass, even though it is a Knight Rider vehicle and it looks, I think it looks amazing from the outside, but that might be because I've been raised with Knight Rider, I, I've been watching those with all my childhood and I love those episodes. And Alright, let's try. There's the jump coming. Night Rider jump! Oh, nothing! Nothing! This shit is so... So down to earth that it even don't jump. Yeah, it's pretty... Uh, pretty slow vehicle, actually. It's nothing... It's It doesn't feel like a sports car. It doesn't feel definitely anything like a supercar. Yeah, it's absolutely uh, a regular car, like like driving a to Toyota or, or something. And I'm serious, in this model it feels like I'm driving with regular regular vehicle. My Volkswagen Caddy in real life feels the same. Oh, bad condition in the road. Yeah, 
it's not very powerful the looks the looks are great but the accelerating is not the best <laughs> look at that it's so slow it's so slow and those are kilometers per hour they have no miles per hour okay 80 miles oh it only feels that this is slow I don't know 100 miles 90 miles per hour I don't know it does not feel like I'm driving 100 miles when I'm driving 100 miles Maybe it's because this is so big vehicle, big car. Don't know. But this bitch is looking great. Woohoo! Woohoo! Little night rider stuff there. Driving like a Hollywood stuntman. Was at the sheriff. Next big thing. No, no, I'm, I'm just kidding. I'm nothing like a Hollywood stuntman. Those guys, those guys are my heroes. This is actually a pretty shitty car, if I'm honest. Because <laughs> it's so, it feels so slow. I love those red American muscles more than anything. They are. They are just my favorites. That's why I'm doing so much American Muscle episodes because I want to test them all. I want to try drive with them all. I live in Finland. We have very few American cars here in the country, and those what we have are very old, like from 1980s, like this one. And we have like zillion Toyotas here and zillion European vehicles like Volkswagens and and French vehicles, Peugeots, Renaults, everything, but no American muscles, that's why I want to test them out and see how they're handling I am not at all interested in the test, test drive with Supras or, or, or Subarus or Renaults or anything those because we have them so much in here but I will test them of course because this series ab is about whoa what <laughs> I put the brake on oh my shit I, I just put no 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 brake uh, the reverse I put the reverse gear on <laughs> something happened this car breaks down. No, it shuts down. It actually breaks down. <laughs> I couldn't make even a lap. Look at that. The engine is red. The engine broke down. Amazing simulation. Now I love Assetto Corsa even more. That's amazing. I didn't know that could happen. Wow, I broke the Knight Rider vehicle. What a epic ending for this episode. What a shitty episode. No, it's it was awesome. Look at those. There's distances and everything. Nice stuff in this car. It's a I don't know if this is accurate. I don't know if the speed is accurate, but it feels very real and it feels very normal, very boring, but it looks great. I'm gonna check out these meters once more because the lights are on. Wow, lots of neat stuff there. Okay, that was it for this episode. I wanna thank you for watching. If you are new, press the subscribe button. And if you like this type of content, press the like button or the dislike button. I don't care, it does not affect anything. I'm still gonna make these episodes if you don't like them. And of course, Grand Theft Auto episodes. Broadside Cars episodes are not now coming up because something is wrong with that game and I can't record that. I, don't, I can't make episodes. I'll try to find a solution for that, but it will take some time. But yeah, that's it for this time. Thank you for watching. See you at the next episode. Love you guys. 
Bye-bye.